Intoxication is a chemical process where ethylene oxide reacts with amine, alcohol or phenol acid oil to produce ethosylate or ethosylated surfactant. Ethosylates are the non-ionic surface active agents that do not form ions when in aqueous solution which are often referred as non-ionic surfactant products. Ethosylates are known for their cleaning, emulsifying and wetting properties and hence are applied in several industries as surfactant products. For example, cosmetic industries, paint industries, leather industries, agriculture industry as emulsifier and many more. Most industrial synthesis of ethosylate operates in one of the following gas liquid contact scheme, the gas phase dispersion into the liquid phase, the liquid phase dispersion into the gas phase. Mass transfer and reaction occur in the different parts of a reactor according to the scheme by which it is operated. A simplified reaction scheme for the ethosylation can be represented by this chemical equation. The hydrophobe will react with the ethylene oxide to form polyoxyethylene surfactant. The term RXH is often referred to as the initiator. It can be an alcohol, alkalamine, or alcohol where the heteroatom X is oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, or phenol, respectively. The figure above shows a general process flow diagram for the production of ethosylates. As it can be seen, the reacting liquid containing catalyst is sprayed in an atmosphere of gaseous ethylene oxide. The reaction occurs in the liquid phase from the top to the bottom of the liquid column. A heat exchanger cools the liquid stream before the injection in the spray nozzles. In this case, the total recirculating flow is divided into two streams, one of which is fed to the spray nozzles and the second to the ejector. These are some of the process parameters involved in the reactor. The overall volumetric circulation flow rate Q, is assumed constant and the reactor is perfectly insulated. Therefore, no heat exchange with the surroundings is present. Normally, the reaction takes place at a temperature ranging from 100 to 180 degrees Celsius and a pressure between 5 and 6 bars gauge with the use of potassium hydroxide as catalyst. Our main reactor for ethosylation process is known as Enhanced Log Reactor ERR, which is the combination of Vandery Log Reactor VLR and Spray Tower Log Reactor SDRR.